Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to react to LS's new video about mythic items being removed, which I have been waiting for for such a long time and I'm so excited. Um, I've been told I should watch a part of this video. Um, I don't know much other than he talks about mages a bunch. So if you're new here, I'm Vixie. I was a master tier mage main. I streamed League of Legends every single day for about five and a half years. Um, I also made a bunch of MOBA fire guys that got millions of views, like my Ari and my Zoe guides. Um, I got tired with how weak the mage class had become, and I eventually moved on to full-time variety streaming about mid-2021. So, let's uh, get right into the video, and I'll link it below for anyone who watches this, but as someone that purely mages, mages I am very excited on what he has to say. Feeling strong and the other feeling weak. The vast majority of players in almost all levels of play, top and bot lane are close in power level and agency. The exception here is bot lanes and very high skill brackets where players are able to better coordinate with their teams, absorb pressure without dying, and consistently- Very bot focused right now, yep. Yeah. In elite play, top is lower on desired power level, bot is close to the right power level, but both are low on agency. This means that it is oftentimes in the hands of the other roles, jungle, mid, and support, orders by varies of skill brackets to determine which lane gets to play the game. And utilize the power of the lane effectively well i actually i mean oh. i i personally disagree i think that mid has been in absolutely abysmal state for yes. several years now I, I actually think that mid has season 2020 was roles horrible that you could actually Onwards. opt into playing for probably four years and a lot of yep, this checks out because of the mage items I, I, Mage items being absolutely awful since the item rework. They just... All of the, like... All of the components that build into mage items are just so awful right now. Like, you can build Hex Drinker as a AD champion. You can build uh, Serrated Dirk. You have these insane power levels at such low cost because you can start with Longsword in mid lane. Um, but as a mage, you really don't have, like, Good components. It really sucks. I'll, I'll save this. I'll save this for the very end. Okay. Well, I've been slowly reducing the need to play around uh, bot lane in early game. It is still, at the time of writing, the optimal way to play. One option we have is continu uh, continuing to lower the power level of bot and push it into the low age. Also, that's not the only reason why mages are bad, but that is like one of the huge reasons. Category. However, we don't want to do at the expense of player satisfaction with the role. Having said that, a lot of bot lane is outplaying ganks. Okay. Um. Before I watch this video, I'm going to list off the things why I quit League and why I think mages are terrible. Um, laning phase has become a lot easier to get through for some champions with teleport, with a lot of like base runes allowing you to get through, like D shield. People always say that Cassadin is like, oh, he's so weak pre-6, that's why he's so strong. Like Cassadin can just ignore an early lane. And by the way, when I'm talking about mages, I mean like burst and artillery mages. Those are the mages I mained. I mained, I was known for Zoe, played a lot of Ari. I also played a little bit of Aesol, even though he's more battle magey, but I played him when he was released. So I played him full AP. Laning phase being absolutely horrible. Mage items were really, really bad. Like for pure bursty mages. You know, things like Zonya's. Zonya's got actually buffed recently. It used to be 2,600 gold, so champs like Silas, Cassadin, just could buy it for the active and didn't need the AP, so the AP was really low, it was 65. But that just really hurts these traditional artillery mages and burst mages so much, because these champs just have... They, they don't need damage, they have a lot of base damage. The traditional melee mages have loads of base damage, so all they need is like some tankiness, you know, some things to help them get on to other classes. So Zonya's was massive, and then uh, Everfrost is also massive as well. And that was uh, that used to be really cheap as well. So the first two items as a pure burst mage, artillery mage, you could buy Ludens and Deathcap together, and that would be almost 7,000 gold for your first two items. And Deathcap is sort of kind of needed. It's such a huge stat stick for mages. Well, back then, at least when I quit, um, these melee mages would just have 5,000 gold and just have two items in Everfrost and Sonya's. Just over 5,000 gold. And um, all it does is give them tankiness, CC, and 
uh, in vulnerability, and that's all they needed. So the overall AP on items has been massively lowered. Um, the cooldown reduction system where it got changed to ability haste was absolutely dreadful. So mages ended up not getting much more ability haste on items, even after the changes. While every other class did, it's very well known that fighters have an insane amount of ability haste across all of their items. Um, they lowered minion mid lane gold a long time ago. I don't know why they did this. This was in a meta where roamers were so, so strong. And then they lowered mid lane gold, which I thought was counterintuitive. Surely the mages and that would stay mid lane would like the gold more and then they would CS better and get that gold over the champs who are hard roaming. So it doesn't really affect the champs who just roam and don't CS anyway, but then the mages who naturally sit mid lane got shafted and I I, I think they've reverted that by now, but I haven't played in a while. Um, also, they did a mass mana haul. God, I can't tell you how long ago this was. Season six, five, maybe? They drastically reduced the amount of mana that mages had so you can't just spam infinitely anymore um that so that caught up with a lot of mages it's uh it's really hard to play mages late game without blue buff but now they i've heard that they've changed it so that every single champion has ivan buff where you can get the blue and then also give one to your mid laner so that's that's a really really good change and it'll definitely help uh, artillery mages a lot um, I have a, a couple of other complaints, but that's generally like the main points um, what I have going into this video. Which we know is not how bot laners want their agents expressed. Melo is still currently overpowered and we believe uh, is a significant contributor to feelings of lack of agency from top and bot especially. We're going to further adjust the jungle to get to a sweet spot where the role is still fun. Yeah, like jungle has been so insanely strong for such a long time now. Uh... <laughs> I'm curious to see like what they, they do. Control their own destiny and ganks are still effective and keep certain strategies like promo pushing from getting out of hand. Our goal is for each role to be able to impact the game in a way that players want while also acknowledging mm -hmm. that players within a role don't all want the same thing. Well, that's fundamentally already kind of difficult because there there exists different classes within the same role. So mm -hmm. that doesn't that doesn't totally make sense because obviously depending on what class you're playing that is your desire to influence the game so if you're if you're playing mid lane as like a tank versus you're playing mid lane as an assassin the way that you oh sorry just to interrupt that is also one of the things that annoyed me so much so that mages were just bad and you could just play really simple easy to pilot champions that were just way more effective than playing a major at a high level because they would just be tanks and they would always be useful even if they were 0-6. Um, just some more melee focused champions like that really didn't need to do anything and that's when laning got easier and easier and especially with all the new runes as well. The desire to influence the game is going to be inherently different. So how do you balance the role that like that that already fundamentally feels a little bit strange and I, I i think the only ways that you can end up successfully like achieving this is when you just nerf certain champions out of being able to exist in those roles but that becomes harder as skill level continues to increase in league of legends and players get more accustomed to being able to multi-role and like do all these other things the thing is like with Obviously, he hasn't fully gotten to the mage side yet, but mages can't really go anywhere else other than support, and no one wants to lane with Zeraf or lane with Belkoz. Like, I want to have that mage fantasy of being insanely strong that I one shot everything, but if I get dived on, I get one shot. That is the absolute mage fantasy for me, and I don't want to play support where I'm just poking someone away and I will never be the main carry. It's just. Not fun at all. We're continuing to explore ways that lanes would like to have agency over the game. Top laners aren't a monolithic entity as they're often split between players that are looking for 1v1 fights and others that want to influence the map and group. We don't believe a one-size-fits-all solution to solve top lane agency exists, okay? 
That's good. However, we're still figuring out how to deliver on some of the things that top laners agree on. Better scaling and less punishment when leaving your lane to impact the map. Uh, we're figuring out... Uh, speaking on the whole top lane thing, um, this also applied to mid lane. Uh, I hate teleport and I have hated teleport for, oh god, for years and years and years. Uh, Zoe came out in season 7, I believe. Yeah, okay, so 2017 Zoe was released. Um, she initially had teleport on her W, and this was bonkers disgusting. And I was one of the few Zoe mains that actually called for this to be removed so early on. I hated the idea of just, oh, just go, you know, just go harass them, go even. You'll just pick up teleport and come back to lane. Like, teleport is such an annoying summoner spell, and it doesn't benefit anyone who's playing aggressively. I believe League should be a game on pushing limits and being better than your opponent. But the meta right now, or has been for a couple of years, is whoever has teleport controls the pace of the lane. So like mid lane, if you're taking Ignite into a teleport, you get the kill on the person with teleport. They just TP back and they don't miss the wave. This is the best case scenario. You're Zoe and you killed someone with Ignite and then they have teleport. The best case scenario is you actually kill them. You get the wave fully pushed in and then they teleport back and don't miss any wave. And then you have to walk back to lane. That is the best case scenario of you actually getting the kill. If you miss the kill or even if you get the kill, but the wave's not fully pushed in, you're just screwed. They can just set up a freeze. It's like teleport literally just counters all aggression and I absolutely despise it. I've wanted it gone for a long time now. How to deliver on some of the things the top laners agree on. Better scale. Oh yeah, something I've heard, I think that they made teleport. Is it something like before six minutes you can only use it on towers as well? That just kind of reinforces lane that as well. Punishment when leaving your lane to impact the map. But top lane has some of the best scalers in the game. It doesn't even make sense. Top lane has... Fiora, top lane has Jax, top lane uh -huh. has, uh, uh, what's his name, Trindamir. Gangplank. Trindamir exists up in top lane. Top lane has Gangplank. Yeah. Um, what other top laners exist? I mean, scaling is also a relative term. So top lane also does have access to some champions that are absolutely bonkers in certain games, like Malphite would definitely be one of them. Scion, uh, could, to, could definitely... Don't get me started on the Scion stuff when I was playing mid lane. Um, people just running into me being 0-6 on Scion and then they would just still win the 1v1s because mages just did not build good items. I just... That's the one thing that I've hated a lot is being ahead of my opponent by 4 kills and I still don't 1v1 my enemy as a mage. Even if I hit every single spell, even if I outplay them, it's like... Mage items are just awful. They don't help you get a lead at all. Maybe one of them. That, that, I mean, that one is also a little bit weird as a comment. Well, our strategy of buffing weak top laners up, typically with scaling and nerfing other roles down, has direction, uh, been directionally effective. There's still more work to do. There's also an upper limit to these types of changes before we return to things like fighters and tanks permanently, occupying mid-game. As mentioned in the previous section, we intend to take a look at elite snowballing to help address some of this after worlds. As jungle and mid are often the roles that are more likely to snowball the game early out of control, and we hope this will give back some agency back to others. Uh? That doesn't even make sense. It has been miserable to play for the last four years. Season nine, I would oh, say, yes. was mid lane's last true, yes. like hurrah. Season nine. Which you have to put into perspective. This was before COVID. That's how long ago that mages have been good. That was the last time that mages were good. I've, I remember season nine so much. I, whew, I climbed so much in season nine. I think I was like master 220 LP. That was such a good season for mages, but then it didn't feel like any other champions or roles were left behind. Season nine was an interesting. Uh, by the way, I know I'm very, like, I don't think I am mage biased. Just because I play loads of mages, I do see things from every direction. I also hated the meta when um, AD carries couldn't go bot lane, and it was just mages bot lane like Swain, and then Reckless had to, like, um, give up his role. 
Do you guys remember that? That happened years ago? I think that was incredibly stupid and I would have molded so hard if I was an AD carry main, putting so much time into AD carries and then suddenly they became extinct. That's how I feel with mages right now. Yes, there are some mages that you can play mid lane, but for the large majority of like artillery and burst, you just no point playing them. Where it felt like every class of champion did exist in that role at that period yeah of time. exactly after season nine and the itemization change, itemization itemization ruined mages so so much it is so sad um oh gosh i can't they destroyed ludens that item update destroyed Ludens. So what Ludens used to be a while ago is you used to generate charges similar to Static Shiv. Um, you know, those kind of items where if you move or use an ability cast, you'd gain some charges and then you would do damage. So I mained Zoe and Ari. So those were two, two champions that stacked that incredibly fast with Zoe's ult and then Ari's ult. So that was absolutely amazing and it used to have 90 ability power 90 current ludens doesn't have 90 it has 80 and you have the large amount of ap or like you have all of the ap that builds into ludens right now if you just buy its components lost chapter and blasting wand you upgrade Ludens for about a thousand something gold. I don't know if they've changed it since I've left. And you get zero AP. Zero. What other item in the game does that? It's just wild to me. I can't believe that has been a thing for such a long time. For four years. Nope, mages are just not allowed to have any upgrades on AP. Ludens should 100% have more AP than the other mythics because it's, it's purely burst focused. Changes. What ended up happening is mages got screwed really hard. First, they got screwed with the 100 gold lost chapter. Then they got screwed with the item cost of all of their items, making it so that all the other classes also got their items at the same time as mages. Then the mages also got hit with the gold reduction stuff on minions in yes, mid lane yes, yes. That you just had, you know. Uh, I still have no idea to this day why uh, they did that. You had less gold than the other lanes because your minions gave less gold. Their reasoning was to help out the like that roam heavy style of mid lane again. Then all the other lanes. Just want to point out, mid lane had it really rough in a lot of different ways. Mid lane also lost access to like raptors uh, and and wolves and being. Oh able yeah, to, like, I guess that's true. Them, uh, because of changes, obviously that ended up happening inside of the jungle. Mid that's true, I never really thought about that. Um, to be fair, I with me playing Zoe and Ari, they're not really champions that do focus on taking raptors even back then. Um, you're looking at the, the proper true artillery mages and control mages like Oriana and Lux that uh, that would take those and rise. They lost a lot of damage on a lot of their items. They became much more dependent on actually getting the completion of the items even when they got the completion. Because uh, the item components are just really bad for mages. So what are we buying on mid lane? We're buying a blasting one that just gives us AP. Needlessly larger odd gives us AP. Finish codex, tiny bit of ability haste and AP. Like all of the other components for other classes, they always have a, an extra passive on top. Like I just know that if I'm playing into an assassin mid lane, and they start large rod. Sorry. <laughs> if they start longsword, they have 750 gold on their base. They're just going to have a serrated dirk on me. They're going to have disgusting armor pen. That people can opt into a hex drinker, which gives them a huge magic shield. They can opt into like lifesteal if they want, if they're just playing another kind of AD champ, not, an, uh, not specifically an assassin. There's just... There's just so many things like Tiamat and uh, Iron Spike Whip. There's just so many good components of the items. Other classes the items weren't actually hitting as hard. Mid also suffered with a lot of classes starting to suddenly get magic resistance. It actually made it so that the mid laners actually hit you for less. 
Yeah. There's so many things that happened that hurt mid laners from itemization to baseline stat buffs that directly hurts mages, typically more than other classes. The fact mm -hmm. that marksmen and bruisers and tanks got a lot of very powerful recipe items, whereas mages don't benefit, and a lot of mid lane champions just don't benefit from recipe items the same way that other classes benefit, right? If you take a lot of, if you take a look at a lot of the items, I guess I guess what I meant is recipe items. Get. Is that it's it? absolutely disgusting? If if we were to like pull up like League of Legends items, let me let me actually do this really. Um, Le League of Legends, uh, League of Legends items. So let's go to. Um, hopefully this works. Okay, cool. What a beautiful site. Uh, credit to whoever made this site. Now this doesn't have every single. Um, this doesn't have every single item because this says patch thirteen ten, so it hasn't been updated in a while. Okay. Now, one you know? of the things I, I I do want to talk about is I just want to go to the recipe items. Okay, let's go to let's go to the epic. I actually didn't realize that they had specific names for them, like basics and epics, so and just epics. called them components. Um, <clears throat> all right. So if you look at mage, what do they have? What it, yeah, what is, there you let, go. Let's make yeah. a notepad. Let's make a notepad. I'm feeling so validated right now. I <laughs> I've been calling mages shit for years, and everyone's just like, lol, get good. Let's make a notepad of the the mage player's powerful epic item. What is it? Lost chapter. Um. What else is there? You could argue hextech alternator, but as a mage, you're not getting that till sec uh, till second item, so it's not really that good. Lost chapter. I have called for Ludens to be built out of Hextech Alternator for a very long time. It would help a lot with the build cost and then you get like the mini Ludens on top of building into the Ludens. I think it would just make but perfect you can only sense. Build it once. One time, right? You have lost chapter, then what? What you else? Have situationally oblivion orb. This but wanting to build like Maybe I'm thinking too much on the early game stuff, but Oblivion Orb, you definitely don't Can want early. Can be a really good item, but it wasn't for a long time. Yeah. For a very long time, Oblivion Orb was just absolutely dog shit. There was no reason to buy any healing reduction as a mage. Always relied on like your support building it. Um, I think they've changed that now. There was a support item where you could shield and it would give grievous wounds over to your other allies. I think they've just flat removed that now, but... There was no reason to build that on mages, and the stats were very, very low. But it wasn't always the case. Now it is because it gives you the 40%, which means you don't need to go up to Morello to get the increase uh, Grievous Wounds. Okay, what, el what else does Mage have? This is it! Th this is th <laughs> these are the only items that you act- Everyone seems to, like, go nuts on uh, Seeker's Arm God. It's not good at all. Think about it. A mage building Seeker's Arm God versus an AD champion building Hex Drinker on mid lane. Who's gonna win? Let's be honest with you. Mages are just so tied to having this uh tied to having lost chapter early on that we can't we can't miss it. Especially with the mana nerfs that happened such a long time ago. Actually get Belighted Jewel is a joke. You spent twelve fifty to get thirteen percent impact. I'm still mad that um, mages lost like stopwatch. Oh, how how do I word this? Uh, mages had special items like banshees, rylies, and sonyas. Every single class, well, not every single class. What I mean, AD champions have access to those items on their own terms now. Just they have their own stop. They have stopwatch they can build into other things. You know, they have Sorota's Grudge, which is literally a pen item with Rylai's on it. You have to buy an entire Rylai's and it's just Rylai's. Why don't we get special Void Staffs? This absolutely boggles my mind. God, a Void Staff with like max health on it or just like a slow on it. This would be incredible. But by um, max health, I mean max health damage. Oh, I'm just, I'm mad. And we lost, uh, well, we still kept Banshees, of course, but then now they've got Edge of Night. Like, AD items just copied our items and made them and better. In 
25 ability. And by the way, we still don't have an AP QSS. I've, I had zero problem with uh, like AD champs and AP champs having their own sort of defined actives and abilities on items. But you give everything that the mage class had over to an AD class and we still don't have an AP QSS. It is a like absolutely it's unreal. A it is it is such a joke of an item. It, it's not even comical. It is I, I feel incredibly bad if my inventory is full and I just I have to buy a void. I'm just like, what's the, what's the point of the 13% magic pen life? It, th this thing is so bad. When you compare its adult form, you get 25% more magic penetration when you finish mm -hmm. this bad boy. And you get all the AP. Now, Void Staff also used to be stronger in the past. God, I didn't even realize how low AP Blighted Jewel had. Now, if you look at the completion of the items, the items are really strong. Now, I'm not going to say, I'm, I'm also going to say, like, let's say... Um, I disagree. I think some of them being fully completed uh, are strong, but they are nowhere near what they used to be before the mage... Uh, before the item updates in season season nine, season nine, season ten, um, every single mage item is just a weaker version of what it once was. Sonya's Lich Bane. Lich Bane is my favorite item in the game. I quit when Lich Bane got changed towards AP Assassins more, and it was focused on melee champions using it more. This is my favorite item in the game, and and what they just destroyed it. I know that they changed it back like maybe a year or two ago. But I was just too mad at that point. And they brought Lichbane back as the old Lichbane that I liked and in its nerfed form. There was nothing wrong with Lichbane before. Stopwatch, right? Oh yeah, Ludens again, like I said earlier, is overall weaker. I think Seraphs was incredibly weak for a very long time. I heard it's got its shield back and it just insta procs instead of a an active. Seraphs was dog sh for a very long time as well. And uh, what, Banshee's 2,600 gold? Low in stats? What's the point? Stopwatch's not exclusively made. Also, Void Stuff used to be a lot stronger as well. Anymore, right? Stopwatch is, is is not just a mage thing. So actually, we're gonna we're gonna exclude Stopwatch because it's not just a mage, okay? Yeah, they so just, th these they are got the our items. These are the epic items. Let me make sure that my uh, <laughs> cam is not covering. AD champs, what, Hex Drinker, uh, Iron Spike Whip, uh... <laughs> this is it. You get Lost Chapter and you get a one-time purchase. I'm feeling uh, so validated right this, now. This is, what, this is what Mage has going on for them. They okay. have nothing. They have the early spike on Lost Chapter. Now, now what? No one in their right mind would ever possibly claim Aether Wisp is good, Seeker's <laughs> Arm Guard is good, Verdant Barrier is good. No one would claim this in the verdant right barrier you spike. You can't without being sarcastic. You can't. <laughs> Lich Bane, which is a, a a mage item in a lot of ways, has sheen, which does nothing for mages as you're building it. Oh my god! I mean, imagine if Lich Bane. Oh, imagine if Sheen had like an AP portion as well. It's, Leon, it's just a complete joke. It's just an absolute joke. Now, okay, needlessly large rod. We're gonna include this, even though it says it's a basic. Oh, it's so expensive, though. Like, you're not... You have to hold 1,250 gold to even get that. that basically a mage epic, right? 1250, right? For 60 AP. With, like, 60 AP and then no passive. Uh, depends on champ. Okay. Now, it depends on champion because some champions don't have good AP ratios. Some champions yes. just need the needlessly large rod to get to the death cap for like unique interactions, or they need it specifically to get to shadow flame for the penetration so that their base damages end up dealing stuff. Um, that that's the whole thing about needlessly large rod. So now let's go into let's go into let's go into 80 carry. Uh let's go into 80 carry uh epics. Uh, last whisper. Oh god, yeah. Basically last item, whisper. By the way. Basically, the item you get eighteen percent armor penetration. I okay. Now, for people yeah, that do not Whisper. realize why Blighted Jewel is su or Blighted Jewel is such a joke compared to Last Whisper, let me explain. AP is not one to one, so you're getting twenty five ability power, but there's a lot of champions that don't have one to one, and a lot of them just don't have good AP mm -hmm. ratios. In addition to that, thirteen percent magic penetration is only for on your abilities, and then sometimes mages 
obviously, and uh, this will go for 80 carries and, and stuff too, sometimes they, they have abilities that don't deal magic, so the magic penetration falls flat. Now, for Last Whisper, Ain items! The, the inherent value of these items while they sit oh, in... Was, was that a skip? Yeah, yeah, it abilities was Abilities that don't deal magic, so the magic penetration falls flat. Now, for Last Whisper, Ain items! The... <laughs> Last Whisper, Cure says Hex Drinker, Noon Quiver, Rage Knife, Halfbound Axe, Steel, Dirk, Executions, Recon for Sheen, Vampire Acceptor. The inherent value of these items while they sit in your inventory, okay? I fucking can't, well, I'm so mad right now. these sit in your inventory? What does the mage player get that sits in their inventory? Oh, Fiendish Codex? Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! <laughs> got 35 AP. Watch out. Got 10 ability A's to coming through. Are like are are we are we are we joking? You get Seeker's Arm Guard. Yeah, nice joke. It's like actually eating up space. <laughs> like this, this thing's doing nothing for you. It's giving you like no no ability power. The armor is totally negligible because you're a mage. It's more so like are they on top of you? Let's not pretend the armor's gonna matter. Aether Wisp is a complete joke. No one no one thinks to themselves, man, I got Aether Wisp. I feel great. But the thing is, when you're a marksman player and you're you're curving into mid game, these items are really really meaningful. These are amazing recipes. 100%. Items. These are fantastic. And there's so many of them. QSS at 1300 gold. So fucking good. Spread across a large a, a large range of um champions, right? So this is pretty this is pretty nuts. This is actually pretty nuts. The other thing that I would even argue is that crit cloak in itself is kinda kinda lol. Because you can actually just get crit Yeah, like if you if you're like Yasuo or Yona, you just buy a crit cloak and then um as an AD champ, if you're already having a lot of crit, it just helps even more. To amplify a lot of unique things across a lot of champions. An infinity edge synergy with other items. What does a mage get to do something like that? What does any of the mage classes get? What do any of the- This is gonna sound really funny, but the most satisfied I have felt with mage items in the past, what, four years? You, you, you guys wanna know? Playing TFT. What? What, what was it that, that TFT had? Like, Blighted Jewel? No, not Blighted Jewels. Like, there was an item in TFT. Jeweled Gauntlet. Jeweled Gauntlet. It gives mages crit damage and their abilities can crit in TFT. That is the most satisfied I have felt with mage items in recent years, and that is on a different fucking game. What battle mages get that is somewhat uh, akin to Crit Cloak. Because again, these items Fiendish Codex, Aether Wisp, Seeker's Arm Guard, this is all garbage. It's really. They're, they're just all stats with no passives. It's all garbage. Now, I will say, Sorkman Boots is kind of nuts. Sorkman Boots really is good. actually a pretty good thing, but so is Berserker Greave, so like... Like, they've buffed Sorks over the years, they wouldn't- it was never even at 18 AP. I'm guessing that they thought Mages was, was still struggling and buffed like, that up, but... Can. That just helps everyone. Everyone that builds AP. Okay. So, like... This is one of the things that feels really bad as a Mage player, or as even, like, a mid lane player. Now... So this is for this is for AD carry uh, AD carry epics, right? So now let's move on to enchanters. Now I actually think that enchanters are probably just kind of the best, kind of, right? Really? So, oh, I I haven't played that much. I I, I don't stream League anymore, but I do play a little bit on occasion, um, off stream. I, I don't know much about the newer, newer items. You get, uh, so Chalice is actually not that great. Chal Chalice is actually not that great. The old stuff used to be a little bit better. So, God, I miss old Chalice so much. Enchanters get Oblivion Orb. Yo, know I miss DFG, even though that was busted as hell. The reason they removed it is because they said that the community wasn't using the active. Bullshit. Uh, if you wanted the item removed, just say so. You thought it was overpowered, you know, just say so. But because people weren't using the active, remove the whole, every single item in the damn game that has an active then. Why specifically DFG? Uh, they get uh, Forbidden Idol, right? 
They get Kindle Gem. Right? Th I mean, this is this is mostly what Enchanters get. And then they also get Life Well Pendant, uh, depending on item, right? So Life Well God, it's so weird, like, reading these new item Pendant names to me. Is, I mean, you don't feel great about it, but you also don't feel like... I mean, it's it's not it's not terrible. It's not it's not absolutely awful, right? So I don't know. It, it, it this one this one's a little bit this one this one's a little bit bad. Now, honestly, enchanters do get screwed a little bit by like Bandle Glass Mirror is a complete joke. Like I totally understand. But the real thing oh, that yeah. carries it is like Forbidden Idol is nuts. Forbidden Idol is just nuts for enchanters. It, it is it is an absolutely amazing item. Oh, yeah, I guess really, so. Really, really 8% really really heal and shield the power is pretty the 8 nice. 8% increase heal and shield power, the base mana region. Like, this is this is a really powerful item. There, there's there's definitely no... God, I, I just... I'm desperate for the day that may just get cool stuff like this. Uh, if and, or, you know, butts about it, etc. Uh, but yeah, um, I stuck out playing League for a bit longer. Um, What I originally said is I played... Well, I started playing Variety in mid-2021. So it had been a full year and a half minimum of mages being absolutely dog shit. And I pushed and I stayed around and nothing was happening. And what is this? Another two years later, nothing has happened. There's been some slight changes on Zonya's, some, you know, some slight changes here and there. Nothing that has completely reworked the class. It's just, I feel like... I just can't believe mages haven't had the any attention in all these years. What what was it? AD carries was supposed to be the strongest role right now. They got a massive item rehaul only just recently, and they weren't exactly weak. They were they were in great spots. They got massive overhaul. Um, oh man. So okay. Well, that, that that that's what I mean. That's what they get, right? Um. And I would even say that for, like, enchanters, like, some of the, the basics are also, like, pretty okay. Like, obviously, like, Ruby Crystal is actually okay for them um, to pick up. And then, obviously, the defensive items. But not to the same extent that I would say Crit Cloak, right? So those are enchanters. Okay. Now we go to tanks, right? What are what are, what are, what are tank epics? Let's take a look at tank epics. So this, this thing is bit, right? What the hell is this called again? It's like Aegis, right? All right, so you have Aegis of Legion. You have Aegis of the Legion, which is absolutely... I mean, that that's disgusting. You have Warden's Mail, Keck! <laughs> okay, you have Warden's Mail. You have Kindle Gem. You have Giant's Belt. What else? You have uh, Iron I Iron Spike Whip. These are all fuck... These are all absolutely nuts, by the way. These are, these are all disgusting. They're all so disgusting. You have Chain Vest. You have Bombies. Oh my god, bombies. Are all nutsoid items, by the way. They're all absolutely. Ooh, disgusting. Bad. They're they're all so broken. They're all so broken. Now, like, haven't I haven't even included Bramble yet. Yeah, yeah. You might think that, like, me putting some of these things here, it, I should have put Hextech Alternator as an epic for mage. Wrong. Okay? Hextech Alternator, when you're building it second to go into another item, it, it's it's useless. Okay? You're getting one proc of it inside of a fight. You're getting, you're getting one proc if you're lucky, right? Uh, well, I mean, you will get one proc. But when you're building a second item, you don't care. You don't want to have built Hextech Alternator first. That's the other thing. When you're building 100%. Hextech Alternator as uh, you're going into second item, if you're going into Shadow Flame, you don't want Alternator over Needlessly Large Rod. You just don't. This is why I sort of suggested that it builds into Ludens, because it's sort of like a mini Ludens that it does proc damage on a cooldown. And it also is a better recipe than having a Blasting Wand into Ludens. Just... I don't know. I think it's amazing. Also, overall buff Ludens by 10 AP. So, the other thing about it is that the recipe items are the item. Amp Tome and Ruby Crystal is Hextech Alternator. Then you have to combine it, and I understand it's a very cheap cost, but your reward is not big. It, it, it's this is what I said earlier about Ludens, where you build Blasting Wand and Lost Chapter, and you get not nothing. It's big for a mage. It's not big. The completion is not big. At least not to the same extent that, like, these other classes are getting value out of their- You get zero right? AP from the uh, upgrade. Uh, Negatron Cloak. Zero. So, like, th th these items are, are, are just ninja tab eye. Let's, let's not pretend. <laughs> I mean, a basic oh, yeah. legendary, practically. Um, like- Mechtrez is insane, but yeah. 
Everyone can build that. Also in a fantastic spot. Tanks also have Hex Drinker occasionally. Right? They they occasionally have this. These are all Nutsoid items as well, and also Sheen, depending on like if it's a bruiser, tank bruiser, right? like tank bruiser. Well, I would gift to have an AP like okay. Phage thing is on also Sheen. A nuts item, man. Phage is gross. Sheen, adaptive. Listen, adaptive, passive on Sheen. If you have more AP or more AD, you get the base AD damage part, or you get an AP scaling part. Okay. I'm just saying, That's adaptive that. items. Okay. What class am I missing even? I don't think I'm really missing any classes now uh, at this point, right? We've pretty much- No, we've- uh, Assassins. All right. What do, what do Assassins get, guys? What do, what, do, what do Assassins get? Oh, that's right! So everything. Every f***ing <laughs> recall <laughs> is- 350 gold. Item serrated Dirk. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, yep. oh, I forgot. 700 gold on your first base? Serrated Dirk. Oh! Oh, do they already get serrated dirk? Are they are, are they have they finished the three serrated dirk items? Oh, let them build <laughs> in the last whisper for Cyrilda's right. Oh, woe is me, assassins. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Every fucking recalls the same goddamn thing. You're so happy to just have a serrated dirk. You're so happy. It's either serrated dirk. This is what I was talking about earlier about serrated dirk versus link. Arm guard and lost chapter. It's just not even close. Okay, it's, it's last whisper. And honest. And as a AD champion, or as an assassin, AD assassin, you start with longsword, so you get it even it earlier. Might sound bad. You're like, well, LS. I mean. By the way, keep in mind that lost chapter obviously got reduced by 200 gold recently. It used to be 1,300 gold. All you need is an AD assassin. Is you needed a 750 gold base. 750 gold base and us mages needed a thousand three hundred it's almost double isn't, isn't almost like majors they only have two items assassin players are dumb okay we're talking <laughs> to literally dinosaurs okay in in their in their skull all right they see two items it's fine okay it's like it is like the flintstones man like we are we're talking about something real simplistic they're happy man every time they walk up in line, they get the same knife, they walk away smiling. Like, it, it's just perfect. <laughs> it's totally fine. Oh. So even though assassins only get... Serrated Dirk is so they're good. They're not crying about it because it is such a bread and butter cookie to just everything. Now, you go to... Yes, it builds into everything. And yeah, mage items, when they're completed, they're kind of, they're kind of, you know, they are, they are strong when you complete them. <laughs> Joke. All right. When's the last time that you actually saw a lot of ability power on a mage? Oh, the days of like 750 AP on the mage being fully built. Mages, oh, the good old days. Finish the item Without Magi's, by the way. Like, mages right now are just on life support with Magi's. If you're a mage that can build Zonyas and Magi's and then just go get loads of stacks like Ari and Vex, like, you're Oops, golden. And then they need to finish, like, their other items. They're like Thanos trying to assemble the Infinity Gauntlet, okay? First you get the Leandres and like, sure, that's really good. Or you get the Ludens, you know, it's really good and stuff like that. But like, you're still missing out on stuff. You need, you need a little bit more utility. You need a little bit more pen, you know? And then you're, you're building into that item and you're just the same champion. You're just the same champion, same champion, 10 minutes. 80 carries, they're coming and going. They're picking up zeal. They're getting themselves like a hex drinker. They got themselves another BF sword or something like that. They, 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 they get whatever, you know, they get the- Oh, another thing that annoyed me so much about mages is 80 champs had so many good- items against mages well we just have what an arm guard as on you don't build zonyas for armor you build it for the active they had what hex drinker wit's end was fucking nutty for such a long time where you could just hold the negatron cloak i believe you only uh it doesn't build out of a negatron anymore but it's just a no magic but i have so much ptsd of playing versus um action when he came out and he would just rush a wit's end every game I hate any sort of brain dead gameplay like that where you just build an item and you're like, sup, I just outstat you like 2001. And they're, they're going on their merry way. You're over oh, here, I hate Witsend. You're, like, you're like walking up to uh, the, the thrift store or something and you're like, lasting one, uh, ruby, uh, ruby crystal, okay, amp tome. Oh, I gotta wait another 800 gold too. Hmm, that sucks. And you're just walking around doing nothing because your class sucks. And then you finish <laughs> the item and you're like, finally. And then it's like, 
No, it's not. When you finish the item, you're like, Sh I need void stuff. Sh I need another item. Sh I need all of these. But you know what? Actually, I'm missing pen. And it's like, all right. Yeah! Like, okay. Blasting wand, okay. Blighted jewel, okay. Nah, I still need another recall because, you know, it's Yes. Then you get void staff. This cl th like... Like, literally, mages don't even fulfill the mage fantasy until you have, like, your lost chapter item, death cap, and void. It's like, what? Okay, three items into the game. Can I actually play the game now? This is why mages hate themselves. Their, their <laughs> epic items are not diversified enough, and there's not enough passives on their epic items. That is a really big problem. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh God, yes. The mage feel validation. Good, okay? So, like, what what is an example of this? So, how how can we make how can we make how can we make not purchasing alternator feel so bad? Okay. Well, what does alternator build into? Alternator builds into uh what horizon focus, right? It builds into uh, it builds into Horizon Focus and it builds into Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame, and it also uh, Night into, Harvester, uh, Night Harvester, right? Right about. So, oh, it, it also builds into. Wait, I don't think it builds into Morello anymore, does it? But we. Oh, it does. It does oh, it builds into Morello now. Yeah, uh, that's that's and a change I haven't seen. It has like Rocket Belt and it has like all these other types of things. Okay. But like a major's got shafted and like no no one can build a Rocket Belt anymore. Um, but just, unless you're like, um, unless you're Man of Us, it's just. It's pointless unless you're like Nico, I guess, where you don't spam, you yes, just go in you once. Get alternator in laning phase. Now, I will say the alternator in laning phase for the few champions that do do this, okay? Because let's be honest, one, Rocket Belt champions are not very plentiful, okay? It's like no. Rumble and Akali, all right? You don't, there's not many Rocket Belt users in the game right now. Night Harvester <laughs> is unironically like the worst mythic in the entire game. I never want. I was actually the most excited as a Zoe main for Night Harvester, but then it's just so bad even... It has no mana to begin with, so you need to go tier and a bunch of other items just to go around having no mana, but... I hear people talk about this item. Okay, how can we make... It's just so bad anyway. Alternator a better item. How can we make Alternator a better item? Okay. I can build so into Ludens. It seems like Alternator... So the problem with this... Now, Riot has done stuff... Like, um, Riot has done stuff like where a passive falls off uh, of an item. That is something that does exist, it, or it used to exist, right? They could do something like make Alternator also cost 1250 and then give it something like 5 M-Pen or something. They could make it also cost 1250 Something, Something that feels better. They could... I just, I don't really care about it having health. Like, I would much rather just... That's another problem that I have with the mage items, is they just slapped health, like a little bit of health on everything. Like, oh, woohee, I am Zeraph with a horizon focus with less AP but more health, so that when... when someone dives on me, I die, like, 0 0.01 second slower, like... I want to... If I want to play a mage, I want to play the mage fantasy of being super squishy and getting one shot. I want to have the like huge AP numbers. I want my 750 AP back every single game. What's the point of health on all these items? Just could, they could do no, like go that. away. They could make. Uh, they, 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 the, they could, they could I desperately want the health on this to be removed and add 10 more AP. Belighted jewel. Honestly, I would rather belighted jewel go up to like 1450 in terms of gold. Put Belighted Jewel at four, uh, 1450 instead of 1250, okay? And then make Belighted Jewel have, I don't know, 25% M-Pen. Yeah. Something like that. Make it, Perfect. Make it have, yeah, just make it have like 25% or like 20% M-Pen. Increase its cost by a little bit. Make the epic item better. Make it feel better. The epic items need to feel better. How do you make Fiendish Codex feel better? It's sad when the only epic item you're exciting on building as a mage is Medi's. I'm not sure how you make Fiendish Codex feel better, but this is what the design and the balance team needs to figure out. This is why mages are complaining and why mages... God, this was a long... This was... How long did I just go off on this? Anyways, <laughs> I hope that I well needed to explain to you one of the main problems that mages face. Now, remember, by the way, remember, okay? Lost Chapter used to be 1,300 gold. And then they randomly, mm -hmm. randomly decided to just lower it by 200. What? And it was huge. It was amazing. It was amazing. Now, also, they nerfed Catalyst of Aeons. Does anyone see these champions anymore? No. 
They nerfed Catal if you guys don't believe how it's been a while since I've seen Road of Ages. Cost, or like sitting on the components and then finishing an item and it just doesn't feel good. Hurts certain champions. Things like Catalyst of Aeon and Lost, of Cha uh, Lost Chapter is a really, really good looking point. Also, Leeching Leer, this item is so terrible. Oh my <laughs> lord. Make this thing... Dude, make this thing cost fourteen fifty for the love of God. Make it cost fourteen fifty or something. And then increase its ability power to like 35 or, or, or something. Or make its HP 300. Like something that... This item's a joke. You're not even supposed to build Leeching Leer. That's the other funny thing. Huh? When you're building Leeching Leer, if you see someone... So go and look at every Western uh, top laner versus every Eastern top laner on Gwen. Eastern top laners rush Leeching Leer. Western top laners build all the components to Leeching Leer. Right? Because you, when you're building the components to Leeching Leer, Wait, what? you're going to end up having more options actually be available to you because the passive Leeching Leer... I actually did not know that. Inside of the laning phase, I haven't watched Pro Play in a very long time. Omni Vamp is fake. Okay. The 5% Omni Vamp is, is totally fake. The 100 extra HP that it's giving you over a Ruby Crystal is less valuable than the 40 ability power on the Blasting Wand for the champion that is obviously building it. So these types of things, I think is what Riot needs to actually focus on and look at. I think this is why the Mage class feels really, really, really bad. The Mage class is the only one in the game that I can think of off the top of my head where it actually says to itself that it needs three items before- The Mage class is also the only mage, uh, only class in the game that goes oom later on in the game. We're the only class that goes oom. What, past three items? For their champion kind of crazy them. because of the mana nerfs that i said a long time ago this that those mana nerfs only applied to mages by the way i'll try and look it up on the side to see what they did exactly but they made like mages mana growth really bad 80 carries are kind of nuts man they can get kraken and slayer and feel and feel great right they can they can go they can go gwinsu's and they can feel great they can get trinity force with uh you know Monomune in there, they can feel great. Now, oh, now I will say, I will say, now also for people that, uh, you know, again, when you're, when you're building into Seraph's Embrace, right? I mean, it just, it feels bad when you're building into Seraph's Embrace. Because as a mage, you don't care about Kindle Gem, right? When you're building into Seraph's Embrace, you just don't. You d I okay, I found it. It uh, happened actually 2018. So I was pretty close. Uh, mages... Got slightly more starting mana and mana regen, but they're down massively mana per level. So later on in the game, we just go oom. There's a lot of champions that don't care about the HP that Archangels ends up giving you. You also never have- Also another thing, like Lost Chapter is such a good item. If we're snowballing massively and we get so much gold that we upgrade, I don't know, upgrade to Ludens at level nine, we're just missing out on that Lost Chapter. Why do we lose that passive? Have Archangels. It's nice to keep. Your tier is always fully stacked, and then generally what happens is you outright complete Archangels. And the other thing about mages that feels really bad, because all of their epic items and their component items inherit- I just hate that there's like 200 health slapped across everything. Give me more AP. I don't want this. The class, or more ability haste. Their inventory gets clogged, and this is another really big problem. That is so huge. So like, it's no secret that Dark Seal is absolutely incredible and it builds into Mage Eyes. That, those are like the only fun times that I have playing Mages in recent years. Just having the Dark Seal Mage Eye fantasy with Zonyas and just building that up. But then it's a snowball item. It doesn't always work. And one of the best. But then having Dark Seal alongside with normally building mage stuff is your inventory gets massively the full of this is when people go zanya's second item because when you go zanya's second item as you're building into zanya's hourglass you effectively have the item as you're building into it when you have the fiendish codex you already basically have the ability haste that the item gives you now they did end up buffing the ability mm -hmm. power so it's not again what i've said it's Mage is just horrible. Like, it used to be, but it still, it still doesn't. Oh, great to Ludens, no AP. Codex, which you almost had all the ability power, and again, because ability power ratios are not one to one on any champion, and there's a lot of champions that have bad ability power ratios. Typically, what you're doing is you're building Zanya's Hourglass for the active, not for the armor either, which means that the stat also doesn't feel as good. Um, so, the, as you're building into the item, you effectively have the ability haste. 
you already have one of the actives that you're going to end up using, which is the stopwatch, and then you're going to get it back upon finishing Zanyas. You don't really care that much about the armor, and then typically what you'll do is you'll buy the amp tome. So you'll have 55 of the 80 ability power. You'll have 10 of the 5 ability haste, and you don't care about the armor because you're a mage, and everyone already has lethality items, and they have Last Whisper and all this other types of stuff. The armor, mm -hmm. it's like, great, you, you live one more hit or something like that. Like, Zanya's armor is not a reason that people buy the item. It feels terrible that Zanya's is one of the best items in that it's one of the few mage items that actually feels like the item as you're building into it. Now, this is akin to some other classes' items. I do have to agree that Zonius is definitely one and of the best when feelings. You're building into Mortal Reminder, you kind of have the item through its epic components. You kind of have it. Ki kind of. Right? You, you can definitely feel like you have it. Now, Serrated Dirk is the most broken thing in the entire game. Okay? Serrated Dirk and Caulfield's Warhammer. Look at this. You get 55 of the 55 of Prowler's Claw. So the, the, the epic items give you the AD. They give you five less ability haste. They give you five <laughs> less ability haste. Boo, boo fucking who. And then, yeah, the active. Sure, sure. You miss out on the active. Who cares, man? I can't focus. Oh, you're missing. Oh, you're missing five more lethality. Well, it's a good thing that lethality scales with level. So even when you have the Serrated Dirk, when you finish uh, the, 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 the Prowler's Claw, you're probably only getting like an extra two armor shred or something. Like, God. Okay, let's click another. Let's click another eighty carry item. Yeah, let's click another one. Um, uh, let, let's click. Uh, I don't know. Let's click. Uh, oh yeah, let's click bloodthirster. Okay, so a lot of eighty carries all around the world right now. Mispurchase bloodthirster. Okay, so you got fifty-five AD, twenty percent crit chance, eighteen percent life steal. Okay, let's take a look at its uh, its components. Forty AD, plus fifteen, fifty-five. Hmm. Okay, fifteen percent, twenty percent, eighteen percent life steal. 7% life steal. Now, you could say that the 11% life steal is actually a pretty big thing. <laughs> Does he know? <laughs> Does he know? Why? Well, how about 50% health gain additional attack damage? Now, a lot of people, uh, you can go to the wiki and you can look at how much attack damage uh, Bloodthirster is actually giving. And next time you see your favorite pro player build it in a game, look at what level they are, go onto the wiki, and see uh, what AD they're actually getting. TLDR, you effectively have the item as you're building into it. Now, there are absolute bonker items that their their epic items are insane. Like Vampiric Scepter or Recurpo are just two apps. I, I don't remember the meta. Actually, this meta has been prevalent throughout most of League's history where people just buy a, a Vamp Scepter on their base and like you're a mage constantly harassing the person who has the Vamp Scepter and they just ignore you and auto the minions. Anyone ever played versus that? I fucking remember. Items and then pickaxe is not a bad recall by any means. But yes, Blade of the Ruin King is one of the completed items um, for like bruisers, uh, bru you know, bruisers, tanks, whatever, uh, 80 carries that build on hit and stuff like that. Um, Death Stance is an item that you cut like Death Stance really is there for its passive. You do get the items. Like, you get all the, the power of the item uh, while you're building into it. You are just missing its passive. But De Death Stance is definitely, like, one of those items. Um, now, Nashers is another item that feels really bad. Because Nashers, you can argue that it's a mage item. Kai'Sa obviously builds it. Varus builds it, um, etc. Um, but Nashers is, is an item that it depends who's buying it, whether or not the items feel bad as you're, as you're moving into it. Anyways... We could we could keep going through other types of items and it's I actually have a hate towards Nashes because it's been one of the few items from the actual item rework that has been good for like specific mages, but then it it like enables things like AP Twitch. <laughs> it, it and then Katarina, it's just really they're so strong in those champions, but then mages know like their epics and stuff are just very, very, very true powerful. mages. Like for instance, it is totally fine for, like, it feels a lot better to build into Monomune, Monomune, than it feels to build into Archangels. Um, because, yes, the Mage likes oh, yeah. the large rod, but that is a hard recall to come by. Like, let's just mm -hmm. be honest. It is. It's the hardest recall in the game to come by, is 1250, okay? So 1250 is a hard recall to come by. Also, typically, Archangels is being built third, so you have your, you have your Mythic, you have your Boots, and then you have your tier. You already have three items in your inventory. If you're a pro player or something, you have wards. So now you're at four. 
and and then what? Like how uh, now if if it's your third item, so wait, then you have your legendary, right? So you're almost out of space. So your your inventory is getting like clogged up. So now did you did you build the did you build the ruby and then you just have to finish the Kindle because 1250 is hard to come by? Um, but again, uh, yeah. the, these stats like you get the ape. The amount of times like I've only been playing A Rams recently, um, just purely for fun. But even on champs that build this, I'm just like, huh? I, I have no inventory P. space. But you kind of don't because it transforms immediately into seraphs and then. You know, yeah, like, because you, you never have seraphs in laning phase. So the passive that Awe is giving you isn't real. So you get 60 AP, but then you complete the item and you get a lot more AP. And again, it depends on which build path that you go for. Did you actually get the Kindle gem or were you on needlessly large rod with just Ruby Crystal? In which case, you don't have the ability aces you're building into it. Anyways, uh, that was a nice little conversation. Oh, that's it. Well. I'm not gonna lie, after watching that, I feel insanely validated. I've been complaining about all of these issues for years, and I really, really hope that Riot does something about this. It's, he's pretty much almost hit everything on the head. Wish he spoke about the mana nerf from such a long time ago, and uh, laning phase just being in general easier. But other than that, like, he definitely got the item stuff down. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope you guys liked my perspective as someone that's quit League because mages are too bad. And I, I hope you liked this video. And if you liked it, leave a sub, leave a follow. Follow. <laughs> I stream on Twitch every single day, but I don't play League uh, anymore. So I just play hard games like Celeste and Hollow Knight and Dark Souls. And Cuphead, one of my favorite all-time games. Uh, yeah. Twitch or TV slash Vixie. I hope to see you there. If you did like the video, please leave a sub, please leave a like, leave a comment. Do you agree? Uh, I know a lot of my viewers uh, that used to watch me play League were like Zoe mains because they found my guide and found their way to my stream. So have you felt the same way that I felt all these years? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!